Today we're going to be cooking with sweet smoke cues, stubs, chicken marinade, stubs spicy, sriracha, Braswell's pepper jelly, tub patio, and Big Papa's Country Kitchen hot sauce. We're going to cook us some ribs, some chicken wings, and we're going to use a ribless to make a riblet stew. Barbecue superstar. All right, we got our uh, rib left over. And we're going to uh, cut these up a little bit. Underneath the Christmas tree, I just want to call my own. Move the bone on these things. Whoa, look at them bees. What are them bees doing over here? They're going to sting the shit out of me. Whoa. Uh, what? What? Yo. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, boy. That charcoal is starting to smell good, good. I love that smell. Okay, we got us a big old pan here. We're gonna start loading it down. I'm gonna put a lot of ingredients in this pan. Gotta clean up a little bit in between sets, you know, doing because I want to try to do three different things here today. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna put in our pan, of course, is this pork, but I wanna lay some seasoning on it first. And of course I think I'm gonna go back with rough or grub. There it is. <laughs> I didn't know where I said it at. Uh, let's do this right here. We got some barbecue sauce on our website from Lancaster, South Carolina. That is some really, really good stuff. And uh, go on there and buy you a bottle of it and try it. Okay. Let's start off with this as our base. Now I'm going to put this one on the hot box grill because I want it to get pretty good high temperature rolling there. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is I got a head of cabbage. Oh. That's a big head of cabbage. I guess I'll cut half of it up. I just went and bought it. All right, put this in here. Big knife. I'm going to 
dice and slice our cabbage. www.ownzone. All right, who went? Get good, starting to look good. Yeah. stick of butter in here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half on this end. Half on this end. And then we're going to uh, get our rub for grub and put a little on top. And then I'm going to get my sriracha sauce. That's a good the sriracha, the sriracha. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. No, it's Chinese. I'm going to put some sriracha on it. All right. Then, I'm going to take all of our injection. I'm going to pour it in there. That's the rest of what we got left. And I am going to pour a little bit of Head to the mountains of Bush Beer. Then I got a pan, little can of green chilies. I believe this knife would cut the whole top off like this. I believe it will, but I ain't, uh, I ain't gonna try it. And it'll cut my hand. Hey, I'm Frederick Dick Nons or something. I don't want to risk breaking my knife, so I'm just going to. Got us some green chilies in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this for about an hour. And then I'm going to come back and put about four cans of stuff in it. Black beans and some other stuff. So we're a long ways from done with our pork and cabbage. So make sure you come back, probably be an hour or so. Uh, I'm gonna leave the top off of it when I grill it. But uh, I'll tell you, before we go, I'm gonna go over there and work the uh, hot box grill because that's what I'm gonna put this on. So uh, stay tuned with me and let's go over there and work this hot box grill a little bit. It's Saturday. It's a little bit before Christmas. And we are out here cooking it up and uh, having a good time. And I think it needs just a little bit more of this in there. Let's get this hot box grill, get it cleaned out. Let's get it lit. I'll show you how easy it is to work with.
cool thing about the hot box grill is everything's removable and easy to use. Okay, he's been taking the top off. Now we got this old charcoal in here. kettle that had as many square inches on this as this thing does would it be this easy to clean out now watch here's the big big thing that's really cool about a hot boss grill See that? It's all going easy. Okay, now we got our hot box grill pretty much cleaned out. All right, I'm gonna go low on this side this time. Yeah, we'll go a little all the way across. I'll tell you why, uh, when I put that full pan on here, uh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be hot enough. Barbecue Superstars loves the hot box grill. I'm kind of using that as a straight up flat grill right there this time. really getting to where I really like this hot box grill. A full pan will sit in here easy. There we go. Good old Royal Oak. It take long, what, five minutes or less? I don't know. Boy, that roll of crackling. That's some good stuff right there. Okay, it's just gonna keep getting hotter and hotter. Turn the air on. Close the top off, it'll be able to get plenty of air. Now watch this. You can take this to a tailgate and set it up. 
10 minutes. Boom, that pan fits on there fine. That's a full pan on a little tailgate grill. That's pretty awesome. All right, well, we're gonna be back in about one hour. So watch your clock. I don't know what time it is right now. Let me check. Two oh eight. Well, we've got our riblet stew going. We've got our cabbage on. We're not going to put any tin foil on it right now. We're just going to go ahead and let it smoke out uh, with all our ingredients on there. Now, the lid on the Hot Rocks Grill is high enough that you can fit it over that pan. And uh, look how much food you can put in that pan and cook for a great big tailgate you could put a, a macaroni and cheese um, potato salad uh, all gratin potatoes uh, baked beans collard greens there's just there's a lot of stuff you can cook in a full sheet pan like that and then the lid on that thing will just fit over it perfectly and I tell you Hot box grills. You can buy them on Barbecue Superstars. All right, let's take a little intermission. Go get yourself uh, something to drink. Come back, and we'll start winding up our cook. Best wings I ever made. Cabbage has got a little smoke on it, which is good. Put a little color on it when the sugar melts. It's already got an hour of cooking, so we won't cook it so long that the sugar will start burning. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to open this three cans of, of beans to go in it. We got some chili beans that we're going to put in there. I'm not making chili, I'm making cabbage and pork, but I want to put some chili beans in it. Let's add some more flavor. While we got our chicken wings set in the glaze, I'm really going to put some glaze on it in a minute. Every time you set the glaze, you can put another layer on it, and it'll uh, get thicker. The layer will get thicker. There you go. There's some baked beans. I'm sorry, chili bean. Okay, we'll put a can of corn in it. That came from uh, Costco. Now this time around, I'll probably let this cabbage cook for two hours. <clears throat> I'm gonna let it cook for a while on that hot box grill. Looks like the hot box grill's cranked up pretty good. It's going about 250. We're just gonna let it sit there and bake and bake. I 
everybody go to these pop open cans, but it might cost more to can it that way. I don't know. Okay, one more can. And this is uh, lima beans, small lima beans, little green lima beans. on it. Mix it all up. Okay, we're gonna call this one done. We're gonna cook it for about two and a half, three hours, about 250 degrees. We're gonna put us a little more. Uh, Rougher grub, Junior Reyes, rougher grub. Go to Junior Reyes, rougher grub. Junior Reyes. And now, I'm going to put some tin foil over it. back on the hot box grill. Cook it for about two or three hours at 300 degrees. Just make sure the cabbage is good and tender. Barbecue Superstars! Bringing you the best in barbecue cooking and competition. You ain't got a guess on Barbecue Superstars. We'll show you the whole thing. <laughs>